is Laura with Garden Answer. I just put together this succulent cornucopia, and this was probably one of my most favorite projects. A company called Leaf and Clay sent me everything that I needed to put this together. It actually comes as a kit, so you can get on their website and order the cornucopia kit, and all the things that you need to make this will arrive at your front door. So it's just a wicker cornucopia form. The planting medium is moss, and then the succulents come in bare root, which means that most of the soil and roots have been removed. There were still a few roots and soil connected to each one of them though. So there's a really pretty array of succulents in here. There's some burrows tail, sedum, beautiful. There's panda plant, and I love this one. I love the fuzzy texture. I think really the texture and the combination of colors they chose for this arrangement is just gorgeous. There's the Pearl von Nuremberg Echeverias. There's a Lola Echeveria. Um, and then there's a couple other Echeverias in here. I just, I mean, you guys know if you've watched our videos that I'm a total sucker for all the rosette shaped succulents in particular. So this really appeals to me. And the thing that I really like about this is that you know, I think a lot of times people stress out about what to put in a container, what succulents go well together, you know, am I going to mess it up, it won't look very pretty, and all kinds of things. Um, and this kind of takes that away, it takes the stress away because you just get everything you need to put it together exactly like this. Or you can take these succulents and kind of arrange them differently and make it more you, tuck in some autumn inspired decor, little pumpkins or something like that, um, and just make it completely unique to you or you can follow their guide which I think is absolutely stunning. So the way I did it is you take the moss and put it in a bowl of water. You want to get it nice and moist and then wring it out. You don't want it dripping water everywhere. And then you line the cornucopia form reserving a little bit of moss to the side and then all you have to do is pick each succulent up, wrap a little bit of moistened moss around the roots and tuck them in. And I just followed the guide, the picture that comes with the kit as to how they put it together and I think they did such a fantastic job of arranging these succulents. I really 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 like it and the care is also really easy you only need to water about every one to two weeks putting it in a sink or a tub because obviously this thing isn't lined so it will drip and when I water I try to direct the water in between the succulents I don't like there to be water resting in the crowns of the plants so I'll just kind of run the the tap you know around around the succulents as best I can. Um, it's really pretty easy. You also want to make sure that you give them the proper amount of sunlight. So they prefer like four to six hours of morning sunlight if you can provide them with that or grow lights work as well. Um, otherwise they will start to stretch and get a little gangly looking. But one of the reasons why I love succulents so much is because they are so resilient. You can use them in a Thanksgiving, arrangement. You can leave them in this for a few months if you want before you repot them or you can take them out use them in a Christmas arrangement. I mean they're just so forgiving and the moss is just perfect for them. They don't need soil for a few months. They'll root happily right into this moss before you need to put them in soil. So anyway I'm so happy with how this arrangement turned out. It was so easy, it was fast, and it was kind of mindless which you know we need a little bit more of that. I think in our lives sometimes we get so busy around this time of year that it's kind of nice to have something so gorgeous like that. I mean, my hands are dry. Like that. <laughs> so easy. So we will provide an affiliate link down in the description or comment section below, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.